Let's do a quick uh, review on unit three. Uh, this is about topic 3.1 periodic phenomena. Right, uh, there's a portion of graph given that is periodic in nature. What is the least possible value of the period? So obviously period is the time or you know the 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 value or um, uh, the the amount of x or the independent variable after which it repeats itself. So obviously uh, you can argue that the curve repeats itself after this much period. The curve also repeats itself after this much period and so on. And that's why they have used the word least possible. So the least possible is obviously this much because after this the function repeats itself. So it is from negative 4 to 0 which is obviously 4 units. So we'll say it's 4 units. <clears throat> Now, using the graph above, find the following, g of 9. So, I know that periodic means what? After every 4 units, it is repeating itself, right? So, g of 9, and see, we do not have a g of 9 here. It's from negative 5 to 5. So, g of 9 will be same as what the value would have been 4 units before. Because after all, in every 4 units, it is repeating itself. So, whatever its value is right now, the same will be 4 units down the line and the same value will be 4 units before. So this will be same as g of 5 and yes, I do have a g of 5 which is right here which is 1. Likewise here, I think I will add rather than subtracting because I have to come in this range. So it will be g of minus 12 plus 4 which is minus 8 but I still do not have minus 8 in this, uh, in this uh, domain. So I will again add a 4 to it, which is negative 8 plus 4, which is g of negative 4. And negative 4 is right here, which has a value of 2. And likewise, g of 29. So how many times do I subtract 4? Like 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. I think I will do 24, 29 minus 24. Because the moment I will do 24, I will get g of 5 and g of 5 is just 1, right? We just found that. So you understand what I did? I subtracted 4 once. So I know a subtracting 4 will give me 25. So I have to keep on subtracting the 4 uh, till it reaches this particular domain. And I just counted the table of 4 uh, uh, and I'm getting 24 as it. Obviously, you can do 28 as well. Then it will become g of 1. And g of 1 is also 1. It doesn't really matter. So that's how I have found g of 29. <clears throat> Similarly, we have to find the least possible period. So I think I'm going to start from here. Uh, this much will be covered. I think here I will stop because after this, the function is repeating itself just like that. So this is starting from negative 4 and ending at 5. So negative 4 and 5 is 9 units. So the period is 9 units. Okay, likewise g of 13. Now g of 13, I'll just subtract 13 minus 9, which is h of 4. Uh, and h of 4 is, where is 4? 4 is here. So h of 4 is just 2. h of negative 12. So negative 12, I think I'm going to add 9 on both, the, uh, add 9 here. So that will be h of negative 3. And h of negative 3 is going to be over here, which is negative 2. And likewise h of 82, again the same strategy. Uh, I think 9 times 9 is 81, so I can just subtract 81 from it because that's after all a multiple of the period, which is just h of 1. And what is h of 1, guys? This is over here. It's 3. So the answer is 3. Right. Uh, likewise, over here, what is the least possible period? So that's pretty easy. Uh, the least possible period will be uh, probably if I start from here, then this is the period. Uh, it's just 2 pi units and once again I have to do the same thing. So 10 pi, so 10 pi is just, I mean, if you if you see 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi, 8 pi, 10 pi. So uh, after all, a multiple of period is indeed 10 pi. So if I subtract 10 pi with 10 pi, I should get the same value which is f of 0 and f of 0 is just 0. Here I'm going to add, I think, 4 pi. I can add 4 pi so that it comes in this domain. So minus 5 pi plus 4 pi is f of minus pi and f of minus pi is indeed 0. <clears throat> 
over here i think i can subtract uh, this is 4.5 right 9 over 2 is 4.5 so I, I think i can subtract 4 pi so f of 9 over 9 pi over 2 minus 4 pi which is f of pi over 2 and f of pi over 2 is right here that's just 1 all right two complete cycles is our given what is the period so obviously the period is we can just say that it's from negative pi to pi is uh, two complete cycles which is a two pi unit so in two pi units we have two complete cycles so obviously one cycle will be in pi units and in a similar fashion i can subtract i can i think pi and pi two pi so three pi minus two pi which is just k of pi and k of pi is negative one <clears throat> over here i think i can subtract pi so five pi over four minus pi is going to give me k of pi over four and k of pi over four is most likely this one i think because um yeah, it looks like that right yeah should, pi over 4 should be here which is just 1 and likewise here I'm gonna add uh, pi to it or maybe 2 pi to it so it will become you know negative 2.5 plus 2 is negative 0.5 pi which is just negative pi over 2 right I hope you understand I just added negative 5 over 2 and 2 to get negative 1 over 2 and k of negative pi over 2 is right here which is negative 1 Right, uh, over here I have, uh, again, we have to find uh, the following axis values and this is uh, a periodic function with a period of seven. So uh, seven units is, um, um, okay, periodic function with a period of seven. Okay, I see. So what is f of eight? f of eight will be same as f of eight minus seven, which is f of one, of course, and f of one is already given to us. It's minus one f of negative six will be same as f of negative six plus seven which is also f of one which is negative one f of f of ten so what is f of ten f of ten is same as f of ten minus seven which is same as f of three uh we, we don't have f of three so that's fine we can add another seven to it i think uh in fact I don't know why I did that because I already have the value of f of 10, right? That's just 7. So f of 10 is replaced with 7. I don't have f of 7, but f of 7 is same as f of 7 minus 7. f of 7 minus 7 is 0 and f of 0 is 2. f of 7k plus 4, that is an where k is an integer. Uh, okay, so this is same as, for example, uh, uh, I mean, see seven k is after all what just a multiple of the period right so after all it will be same as f of four because if you take let's say k as one so they are asking the value of f of seven plus four and seven plus four is same as i mean f, obviously f of seven plus four is f of 13 and f of 13 is same as f of 13 minus seven right uh, sorry uh, what am i doing uh, seven plus four is 11 and 11 minus seven is after all again four so that's what i was saying that it is just making these many cycles of the period and after all it will come to the same point which is four and f of four is oh we don't know that so that's why it will be same as f of four minus seven as well which is f of minus three and minus three is four so that should be our final answer Right, uh, likewise, I think uh, you can try this question. Uh, this is a fancy way of saying that the period of the G is 10, right? Whenever they say G of uh, X plus something is again giving G X, it means that after running for 10 units, I'm again getting the same value means the period is 10 units. Okay, so it just means that uh, I can subtract 10 and 10, maybe 20, so that I will get G of seven. And what is g of 7? Isn't that 5? Here I can add 7 units, sorry, 10 units to it. So if I add 10 units, I will get g of 3. And isn't g of 3 negative 2? g of g of 10. I, do I have g of 10? I'm not really. So that's fine. I can subtract 10 from here. 
and I will get 10 minus 10 is 0. What is g 0? 4. And what is g of 4? Uh, we don't know that. That's fine. We can subtract 10 from here again. And 4 minus 10 is negative 6. And what is g of negative 6? Isn't that 1? So the answer is 1. And finally, uh, I think you will agree that this 10k repetition is the same as the period. So this is the same as g of negative 3 that we do not know. That's fine. We will add 3 to it. So we will get g of 7 now. And g of 7 is 5. So the answer is 5 from here. Right. There's a word problem here. A toy car travels around a circular track as shown. The center of the circular track is 20 inches away from the wall. At time t equal to 0, the distance between the toy car and the wall is 0 inches. Means this is where it's starting from. Car completes one full lap around the track every 8 seconds. It means that this is its period, correct? This is the period. Now, as the toy car travels around the track at constant speed, the distance between car and the wall periodically increases and decreases. Of course, they are measuring the horizontal distance between car and the wall, and it obviously changes periodically. The periodic function D models the distance uh, between the toy car and the wall as a function of time in seconds. And the graph D is given and it is dashed midline for two act two cycles is given and these are five points that are labeled and the scale is not an axis is not present so don't think that this is an x-axis or something determine the possible coordinates of these five points f g h f g j k p okay i think we we can agree that the minimum distance has to be zero because after all, the distance is increasing. It's not increasing in negative sense. And the center of the circular track is 20 inches away from the wall, which means that this is 20. So can we agree that this is also 20 because both correspond to radius? So I think the starting point, uh, the minimum distance has to be zero. That has to be the, uh, the y coordinate because that's where the distance is, right? It is in the y coordinate. So, can we agree that j must be at 0? Uh, the middle point, the midline should be here, which is at 20 units from the wall. So, g and j should have a y coordinate of 20, if you agree with me. And f is at the maximum distance, which is 40 units. Correct? Now, about the time. At t equal to 0, it starts from here. So, when do you think it will again be at this point? Obviously, after its period, right? After its, after 8 seconds. So, at t equal to 8 as well, it will be at the starting point. See, I cannot take this as 0. Otherwise, these will become negative. And negative time doesn't make any sense, right? That's why I have to look for another value, which is 8. So, this point is potentially 8 comma 0. Okay. And since it, com it, it, it moves at a constant speed, it means that after every 2 second, it completes a quarter circle, right? 2 second, 4, another 2 second makes it 4, another 2 second makes it, makes it 6, and another, another 2 seconds makes it 8. So, it makes sense that this, this difference will be of 2 units. So, 6 minus 2 should be the x coordinate which is 6 and sorry 8 minus 2 should be the x coordinate which is 6 and 6 minus 2 should be the x coordinate here which is 4 which makes sense right and here i will go two units further which is 10 and i here i will go two units even further which is 12 and now it's adding up as well as you see between 4 and 12 the difference is 8 units which is obviously the period and indeed the period is 8 units so this is definitely a possible combination for the coordinates of these points. They're also asking that uh, refer to the graph of D. Now the T coordinate of J is T1 and the T coordinate of K is T2. They are talking about J and K. J and K is right here guys. J and K. So in this interval, 
D is positive, negative, increasing and decreasing. So obviously D is positive because we already said that this is the X axis because this is the zero. So D is definitely positive and clearly D is increasing as well. And this, this segment is increasing as well, right? Because the function is increasing in nature. So the answer has to be positive and increasing, which is option A. And how is the rate of change changing? ROC changing. So ROC changing means they are talking about concavity, right? So is this a smiling face or a frowning face? I think this is a smiling face. And a smiling face means, and this is a frowning face. So smiling face means ROC is increasing, right? ROC is increasing. ROC increasing means it is concave up. And ROC decreasing means it is concave down. ROC positive means it is in uh, the function is increasing, and ROC negative means the function is decreasing. So I hope this uh, there is no confusion about uh, about this, right? And that's all what we had for this video.